What is up guys, Lockdown1194 here, welcome back to Connected Career Mode with Leroy Sane. Now unfortunately, this episode is going to be a little bit shorter than the other ones that we've seen so far. For those of you that didn't watch my episode 2.5 live stream that is uploaded to the YouTube channel as well, we had this Olympic Lyon game that was in the Champions League. This is the first Champions League game that I got to have, I guess, on my channel, on this series, whatever you want to call it. And unfortunately I got red carded. <laughs> I pulled a solid Kev, basically. It did that thing again where I pressed square to cross it in, and as I did that I got tackled so that turned into a slide tackle, because those buttons correlate for some reason. And I just ended up cleaning the guy out completely and got a red card, which unfortunately means I missed the next Champions League game. Which is in this episode, it was going to be our second game against Hoffenheim, so unfortunately we're not going to be seeing that. But I knew that I needed to bounce back from that red card, that's, that's cost me some serious points. But we came back, we beat Cardiff 2-1, and then we faced Luton and we just rolled over them. I think I've got a hat-trick and the two assists to make all five of those goals. So today's episode, like I said, is going to be a little bit shorter. We're going to be going up against Brighton, missing the game against Hoffenheim, and finishing it off against a game against Liverpool. That is going to be a huge game. So we continue to press on without the likes of Sergio Aguero. Gabriel Jesus is playing up front today and I'm, I'm assuming we've got that Mbuhu, is that his name, on the bench? He came on and got a goal in the first seconds of his professional career so I want the guy to do well honestly. Here we go. After watching the last part that Kev uploaded to his channel where he's obviously playing as Deli Alley, they completely walked over somebody. I think it was their third game that he played. They ended up going down to 10 men and just absolutely dissected him. I think they ended up winning 7-0 or something ridiculous like that. And he got involved in a lot of goals, so that's going to help him out in the long run. But we need to bounce back. Can someone get a head on that? Oh, proper. That was a proper header. He decided to play Zinchenko a lot. I'm not quite sure why that is. I'm pretty sure we've got... Who's the regular left back? Danilo, I guess? Or Fabian Delft? Does he play left back? Giving the young kids a chance. I like it. Gabriel Jesus, chip over the top. Lovely. I tried to chip it because I thought he was going to run out. He baited me. I got like FIFA 15 baited right there. And Zeus, lovely little touch. De Bruyne, think it over. On the volley, another block. It's like a fourth shot they've blocked already. And pass back. I'm in some space here. I've hit it. Blocked again. But they didn't block that one. Gabriel Jesus with the volley. Pounces on it. And we get an early lead. He's on the phone again. He's always on the phone. Right, and looking to answer back. That's a nice little pass through. Gross chips it in the middle. Oh, his Cuierdo gets the header, but it's not on target. Completely surrounded in there. Got a little counter-attack going. Jesus, put it over to me. Back into the middle. Oh, he just could not tap that in. That defender getting the slightest little touch. Completely put it out of the way of Jesus. And Ryan picked that up. Gondogan, what the heck was that? Over the top. Oh, I didn't realise he's marking me. Doesn't matter. Gets his big old spam forehead header on it. And that is 2-0. Sane's surprisingly good at headers. I always assumed he was a bit of a small guy, so the fact he's managing to score all these headers is actually pretty good. Typical Manchester City passing play, that's what I like to see. Jesus picks it up, pops out to Zinchenko. De Bruyne and Zinchenko, they look like twins. Jesus in the box. Oh, he's making a run. And Dogan, he's won it. Oh, he almost got into De Bruyne. I thought he was going to try and shoot that. I ended up ducking for some reason. Again. Zinchenko, De Bruyne, Sane connection is really living up to the hype. Back in the middle, De Bruyne smacks it outside of the foot. That is a great goal. All around the Zinchenko, Sane, De Bruyne triangle. All the way from defence, all the way up to attack. And De Bruyne with a classy finish. He's possessed again. And Dogen. That's a great little pass through to Mares. What's he going to do with it? Pulls it back. To Kondogan again, and it's blocked again. Brighton are very good at that, sometimes. Lose the marker on this guy. Again, terrible cross in. Straight back out for another corner. Try again, Mares. Oh, wait. Did we just get a penalty? I think we might just got a penalty. Did Ryan just come out and punch someone? Is that what just happened? He sprinted out. Oh, he ended up taking Danilo down. I'm sure that wasn't what he intended to do. But we do have a penalty. Okay, the game just gifting penalties for some reason. De Bruyne to get his second of the game. Can he finish it? Oh, it's a slow run up. It's right down the middle along the floor. Everything you hate about penalties online, basically. Well, that is a questionable decision, but the referees handed us a 4-0 lead going into the second half. Yes, Fernandinho. 
<laughs> Hit that on the volley. <laughs> Embarrassing. Cut that out of the video, please. Very nice, very nice. Pop it back, Fernandinho. Words in some space. Lovely little touch off to Gabriel Jesus for his second and celebrate by sucking on Kevin De Bruyne's nipples. Right, and looking to get a consolation goal. It's it's just terrible, really. Their overall performance. Mbuhum is on the pitch. Mbuhum is on the pitch, ladies and gentlemen. We need to get him a goal. Ace. <coughs> oh god, my, my voice just disappeared. Oh, lovely little bit of skill. Mbuhum. Get an assist. Bang. Oh, it's a lovely finish. A perfectly timed shot from Sane and an assist from Mbuhum. What a guy. What a guy. How can you be, be mad at him? Look at that. Uses strength. Keeps the ball a little bit back. And I don't know how I managed to just swerve that between those two defenders. This is a perfect angle. Look at this. What? A, a, that's an incredible shot. It really is. And that is going to be it. 6 0 the final score. That's a 5 0 and a 6 0 win. Managed to get involved. I think we got two goals and an assist. So, as I said, unfortunately, we have to simulate this game against Hoffenheim. We're playing Diaz. I believe that's the guy that's actually gone to Real Madrid. He's replacing me right now. Have a little look. Shall I skip to the end? Why not? 2 1 win. Raheem Sterling. I feel like we've barely even seen him so far. Getting both goals to give us the victory. Lovely stuff. Now we move on to our next game. Liverpool suffering a defeat in their previous game against Chelsea. They lost 2 1. Kevin De Bruyne has been named September's Player of the Month. Congratulations, Kev. As we go into. Not, not you, Kev, the other Kev. Looks like we're at Merseyside. Who's that? Who is that? Who, who is that guy? <laughs> Who was that? I don't even know. Definitely never seen him before. Sane, Sterling, Silva, and Kevin De Bruyne. All warming up for this game. It's a big game. I don't really know what the title race situation is right now in this game. But in real life, this is a big game. Oh, Henderson already making a bit of a mistake. Can we pounce? A little bit of a ball roll. And that's a perfectly timed shot. You're telling me that that's not even on target? Hello? Leroy Sane is right-footed. I perfectly timed that, and it's rolled over there. That could have been a perfect start to this game. A little bit of a time waste in there as Mendy gets away down the wing. What could he do? Pop into the middle. Doesn't need to be hard. I just said it didn't need to be hard. That's a terrible pass. It's clearly being marked. Liverpool with another opportunity. It's Mane. He is a player to watch. We can stop him. That'd be great. Silver, lovely stuff. Oh, that's a beautiful little flick there, Mendy. Let's go. Mendy to Otto Mendy. Mendy, Otamendi, Mane, Sane. God damn, his names are way too similar. That's a great pass. Gabriel Jesus, he finds me. Chops it inside. We've seen this once before and unfortunately on this occasion, didn't come off. Win that silver. Lovely. Nicely done. Sterling tries to get it to me. It's dispossessed for the defender. Use that physical strength. Great save from Allison. Oh, that's why he's the best keeper in the world. Oh, I hope you can sense the sarcasm in my voice. And that is a great pass. Uh oh, we could be in trouble here. Counter attack from Liverpool. Down the left side. Can he get a whip in? He's pulled it back. He's got the whip. And it's cleared away. Up top, up top. Look at look how open everyone is up top. There are four players around you. There were literally two players at the top of the pitch that could have had the ball there. And now we might be in trouble. Is that Fabinho? He's got players in the middle, goes for the shot instead. Edison and Allison, probably two of the best goalkeepers in this league right now. Let's have a look at their players, because I don't recognise their centre backs. Joe Gomez and Felipe, right? And they also bought Alex Tellez as well. They've got like a whole new back line, other than Nathaniel Klein and Joe Gomez. Put back into the middle. Lovely little pass. David Silva is the worst player in this game. I'm sorry. How can you have an opportunity like that? And Missed you cl closer to kicking the corner flag than the ball at that point. Oh no, David Silva, what have you done? Now Liverpool on the counter attack. Salah at the back post. Great save from Edison. Get rid of that. Closing us down. That's a nice pass through. Fabinho. Edison with another save. I cannot believe how good Edison is in this. Mbuhu is on the pitch. That's not even his name, is it? Mbuhu? I, I still don't know what his name is. Fernandinho trying to get it to me. Felipe Luiz is on the pitch. Where did they get these players from? Were they in the transfer window? <laughs> I don't remember seeing them. We've got Felipe, Felipe Luiz, and Alex Tellez. Edison makes another save. He's keeping us in this game right now. Cannot believe this game is still 0 0. 70th minute. You've got to think whoever gets the goal is going to end up winning this. 
drops Felipe Louise. That's why you play him on the left side instead of the right side. He doesn't know what he's doing. He's, he's just all flipped around. Ibukum, oh, Felipe. <laughs> why are you doing this? Oh, it's a job, really, isn't it? Ah, oh, Fabinho is just too strong. Mane is too strong as well. They're all too strong. Oh, God. What an attack. What an attack from Liverpool. Someone shut him down. Edison with a save. How many times have I said that today, huh? We can get that. Oh, no. Oh, no. Big clearance by Mendy. Edison was flopping around there for some reason. This is so intense, this game. Oh, my God. Mares stops them from attacking. James Milner enters the pitch. Five minutes left. If this finishes 0-0, this is the most intense 0-0 game you've ever seen. I should have... Oh, my God. Mane. You had so much time. He panicked. Chokeski. And that is it. 0-0. The most intense 0-0 game you will see this season, I assure you. Good God. I feel like I, I couldn't even really get too involved in that game. Everything else was just popping off. So off camera we will be playing against Burnley. And then we have a Champions League game against Shakhtar, which I will be playing. Hopefully I won't get a red card in that one. And then we have to play Spurs, which is the team that we're essentially going up against. Going up against Kev and Deli Alley. The next episode should have West Ham in the Carabao Cup, Southampton, and then Shakhtar again. So you're going to miss a Shakhtar game and then you're going to see it. But considering we only had two games this episode, I think we did... I think we did okay. A little bit disappointing not to get the win against Liverpool, but under the pressure that we had, we were lucky to get a point, and we did end up destroying Brighton in the first game, so can't really complain about that either. So anyway, thank you guys for watching. See ya.